Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 103 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you a tip on how you could get the merge to HDR or merge to panorama to run in the background. Now, what I mean by that, I'm just going to give you a little demo here. We have this image and we have this image here. And I'm going to make a very simple two image panorama. So I'm going to click on one, hold the command key, and click on the other one. If I had a PC, of course, I'd hold the control key in. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go up to Photo Merge, Panorama. Now, you see this box comes up, and when this box comes up, you can't do anything else. Now, it went very quickly because I only had the two images, and panoramas tend to go fairly uh, fast in Lightroom. The HDRs take a lot longer, and that really bugs me because a lot of times I'm going through my images I'm culling them and I see like in this case I have a few that I shot for a panorama and I'll say I just want to see what that looks like real quick and I want to create the panorama but I want to keep culling while that's doing that so how do you do that well you do the same thing you select both the images in this case because there's two I'm going to right click on them. I'm going to go up to photo merge. Now instead of just clicking on panorama, I'm going to hold the shift key in. And when I hold the shift key in, then click on panorama, you'll notice that it's working in the background now. So I could continue culling or doing whatever I'm doing while that is happening. And once it's done, it will just load, the, in this case, the panorama image into the same folder as I was working that I was working on and it, again it does the same exact thing for HDR just hold the shift key in when you click on the HDR and as for settings whatever settings you previously used in either of those two functions will be used again so if you're creating an HDR whatever deco setting you use previously auto tone setting, the auto crop setting, all that will just get reused. And in my case, for the panorama, the projection and the auto crop uh, got reused, whatever I had. So that might help you, especially those, those of you that are maybe pressed for time, or you just don't like sitting there looking at that box, creating the HDR or whatever. So check that out. Maybe it'll help. I hope it does, and I hope it taught you something you didn't know about Lightroom. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.